You're tuned into HCAM News. Tom Nappy here with Juliana Lucas. And Juliana, I understand you just completed a Girl Scout Silver Award video. Yes. Can you explain what the Girl Scout Silver Award video is and what the video is all about? So the Girl Scout Silver Award is an award given from the Girl Scout Association to a Girl Scout for making a, an impact in their community that's sustainable and helps kind of everyone in the community, it, depending on what it is. Like for mine, it was stay, staying safe and making sure everyone followed the rules. It's different for everyone, but it just has to be sustainable and have a positive impact on the community. And mine was about the safety of the parking lot at the Hockington Middle School. And um, it was mainly just about making sure everyone followed the rules and staying safe so there would, no, there, there would be no conflicts or accidents in the parking lot and everything would just flow smoothly. Um, so what encouraged you uh, to pick this topic? Did it have to be a topic relating to schools or was it just something that you saw a need for and that's why you chose it? Um, it, it could be anything in your community. So I, at the beginning of seventh grade, my Girl Scout troop introduced all of us to the Silver Award and I thought what better than to do something at the middle school. I mean I have two years left. It has to be completed by eighth grade. So I decided to work on the middle school so me and my mom started brainstorming things that could be improved on and since she drops me off every day we decided on the parking lot because she and her friends kind of notice things in the parking lot that aren't safe and that people don't follow the rules so she had some background knowledge on that and then me as a student getting out in the busy parking lot every day um, we just thought that it would be the perfect thing to make a video on and just like help everyone out. Excellent and, does this, and I, uh, I watched the video and I especially saw that it's uh, good for the uh, new parents and the new yes. students coming in. How long did it take you to make the video? Um, well, we filmed for one entire day, some like half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the afternoon on a Friday just so we could get um, people dropping off and picking up so we can kind of get as much as we need to put in the video. Um, and that was probably back in the end of November or December. And since then, we've been editing probably two or three times a week and a couple weeks ago we just finished so um, yeah it took, it took a couple months just to make sure it was perfect and everything flowed well and then uh, recently I just just I gave it to the administration just for their final okay so I'm gonna give a, a wild guess here that editing was the longest part of the process oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was I probably had 20 hours or more of editing so yeah, it took the longest, but I mean, it's definitely worth it. It came out really well. Yeah, so. absolutely. You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, can you talk about the Girl Scout troop you're in and maybe some of the activities you have coming up, if you have anything you'd like to promote? Yeah, um, I'm in Girl Scout Troop 72975, and we, we've been together probably since first grade or kindergarten, so we're pretty, we're pretty close. Um, well, we, since everyone's just finishing up their silvers, and then we bridge, so in the, in the spring, um, and we go on fun kind of group activities together. We went whitewater rafting last year, and this year we're going to Zipline Park. And then I think for the gold, you have to raise money and make a big impact on your community, so we're probably going to get together soon and just um, brainstorm ideas that the state or the town could use that's big enough for a gold. Excellent. Well, uh, best of luck to you. Thank and I'm you. I'm sure you'll do a great job as you did on this video. And without further ado, right now on HKM News, we'll take a look at the video by Juliana Lucas. It's the Girl Scout Silver Award video, and it regards Hopkinton Middle School parking procedures. So without further ado, let's check out the uh, video made by Juliana Lucas. Welcome to the Hopkinton Middle School. Starting middle school is an exciting time with a lot of new experiences for both you and your student. One thing to note is that the Hopkinton Middle School parking lot can be dangerous, particularly during drop-off in the morning and pick-up in the afternoon. This brief video will help educate you on the proper procedures in the parking lot and help you navigate it so everyone stays safe. 
The entrance to the Hopkinton Middle School is located on Grove Street beside the water towers. Your speed when traveling through the parking lot should not exceed 10 miles per hour. At drop-off and pickup, you will drive between the blue lines painted on the pavement. Notice how the path leads around the perimeter of the parking lot and leads you to the side door of the school. During drop-off in the morning, HMS students, teachers, and high school students are all walking or driving in the parking lot. One common mistake made by drivers new to the middle school parking lot is to drive through the rows of the parking lot. This is tempting because the drop-off line can appear to be long, but be assured the line moves quickly. Driving through the rows to cut the line is dangerous for all of the people in the parking lot and causes congestion in the front of the entrance. Everyone is in a hurry, but the safety of the people in the parking lot is our first concern. As the driver, you can help reduce the time in line for everyone by having your student ready to exit your vehicle when you reach the entrance to the school. This is not the time to have a long conversation with your child. Please do not stop on the hash marks painted on the pavement. Teachers are crossing the line of traffic to enter the school. After your student exits your vehicle, look before pulling away from the entrance to make sure there are not any people walking near your car. After drop-off or pickup, you can either proceed to the exit onto Grove Street or turn right towards the high school. Be aware that this corner is particularly blind for both drivers and students walking in the area. There is a crosswalk by the corner of the middle school and many students use it coming to school and walking home at the end of the day. You should make this turn slowly and cautiously. One of the biggest changes at the middle school is that students are dismissed without adult intervention. At the end of the school day, the first car waiting for a middle school student should proceed past the side door of the school and stop at the end of the blue lines. If there are cars in the queue, do not stop on the hash marks directly in front of the entrance to the school. Start the line again after the hash marks. This leaves the entrance way clear for people to safely cross the line of traffic into and out of the school. Again, never drive into the parking lot and cut ahead of the pickup line. There are parking lot monitors at the exit door at the end of the school day to help with the traffic flow and safety. Students should never run into the parking lot across the line of traffic. Students should proceed to the right down the sidewalk to walk home or along the sidewalk to their left to meet their ride. You can help this by not cutting the pickup line and waiting within the rows of the parking lot. There are common mistakes drivers make in the parking lot. One mistake is to not heed the one-way sign out of the parking lot. When at the intersection, it is very tempting to just turn left and drive really fast into the parking lot, hoping no one sees you. Don't do it. Drivers come to the middle school from the high school, have to exit onto Grove Street, and then re-enter into the parking lot on the other side of the water towers. On early release days, particular caution is needed in the parking lot and around the whole school area. A much larger percentage of students are picked up or are walking home on those days. Cars not following the established procedures will cause students to run into traffic. A few last things to know. Drop-off in the morning is only at the side door of the middle school. Never drop off your student at the front door unless it is after school starts. Thank you for your time and attention. The middle school administration welcomes you and your student. The school is a busy place, therefore the parking lot is full of people. When the rules are followed, the parking lot can be safe for everyone. Juliana, the video was great. Nice job. Thank you. Right, thanks so much for coming in today and uh, hopefully we'll hear from you again soon. Okay, thank you.